Hi, Dr. Sassy here from the Continence Center. I've had uh, some questions about bladder leakage at a young age and what does this mean and how to treat it. So at the very end, I'm going to describe what I think are the top three things to do to act upon that right now. But first, let me just try to understand a little bit and help you understand uh, what people are talking about when they raise this problem. Bladder leakage can occur at any age, but it's far more common to happen as we age. So uh, in most cases, the bladder leakage begins because there's some injury, some loss of function of either the nerves, the signaling wires, or the muscles, what really contracts in the pelvic floor, in the bladder sphincters, the urinary sphincters. The number one of those, of course, is pregnancy and childbirth. So both pregnancy itself, babies growing and descending in the pelvis, and this itself puts injury and traction injury on the nerves, which have to signal down to the muscles of the pelvic floor. And then birth, or childbirth, or labor, which of course causes even more injury, traction nerve injuries, and then tearing to the muscles themselves. So. Pregnancy and labor are the top two considerations and very often, especially with large babies, uh, prolonged labor, this can be uh, real tough on those nerves and muscles and lead to, uh, lead to bladder accidents right then and there. Sometimes after delivery with a bit of time and some healing and rehab and pelvic floor exercises, kegels and other exercises, uh, the nerves and muscles can come back enough so that people no longer have any bladder leakage. However, the second most important factor is age, or father time. So as the years go by, the nerve signaling gradually diminishes. Some studies have estimated about 1% per year. So if you had bladder leakage at a very young age after the first baby or two, and then it went away for a while, it's very likely to come back gradually as the years go by. Most of the people that we see at the Continence Center had such an experience, but it really didn't start to bother them until decades later, often when people are in their 60s and 70s. Uh, there are rare other reasons why people can have bladder leakage at a young age. Sometimes this is related to a new diagnosis of diabetes, which gives us sugar in the urine and a tendency to, to have to urinate more. Sometimes it can be an infection that people don't recognize, so that can cause us to pee a lot and have bladder leakage as well. So it's worth getting a urinalysis and talking to a doctor about it to try to figure out what's going on. Um, but at the end of the day, the most common things have to do with bladder leakage forming as a result of that failure and gradual deterioration of the nerves and muscles of the pelvic floor. And so, what are the best treatments for that? Well, number one is going to be exercise, so getting a good list of pelvic floor exercises. We talk about that in some other videos, but kegels, squats, squeezes, and work on rehabbing those muscles and nerves. Um, next is going to be seeing a doctor who really specializes and isn't afraid to talk about bladder leakage and bowel leakage and all this pelvic floor stuff uh, and who really has their hand on what the best therapies are. In our view, the number one therapy is sacral nerve modulation for people who have a severe enough problem and uh, that is where you have this outstanding technology that's being applied and that is far safer, less invasive and way more successful than medications which you have to take every day and which have a bunch of side effects. Um, other kinds of surgery are a consideration if people have a prolapse or something actually falling out, but in general we, re we prefer uh, the, the very limited little procedure of sacral nerve modulation rather than a more invasive surgical approach. In any case, uh, seek out uh, expert opinion advice about that. If the exercises are not solving it and you've gotten a good evaluation with at least a urinalysis and possibly additional testing, and then, if uh, you feel like you really need help with it, then sacral nerve modulation may be the, the next step for you. I hope that's been helpful to you, and I wish you great health.